All right, welcome to the uh, latest video in our series on building a vertical smoker. You can see here that Dresch is shoring up our frame. He is putting the final welds on there. Now he's cutting out the uh, sides. We're going to put in the side walls next. So we've got our chimneys from our fabricator. You can see that we've put those along the back, and here we've clamped up the side walls so that we can weld them. Uh, again, here you see that we've got both chimneys already mounted in. They don't have an exhaust hole in the bottom. We'll cut those out later. Clamp up the right side. We're starting to weld it uh, and get this thing, uh, you know, shored up from the inside out is the way that we're working. So these are the innermost walls. There's three walls all together on this smoker. Uh, and and right here we're putting in the left, the right side, and the back. And there you can see all three walls in, uh, innermost walls, and the firebox slides in. These are the racks that we bought uh, so that we didn't use expanded metal. We wanted to use um, wireframe racks. And here you can see another shot of it with the firebox and the ashtray in and the first rack. Uh, so now we are putting in those racks. We're putting in the slides. Uh, and starting to put in the tops and uh, just shoring up this welding. So now we'll move to the video portion. So what we're doing is we're trying to get the ceiling in here. This is the biggest pain because we're cutting this by hand instead of having it cut on a uh, machine. So we're kind of having to bang it into place to get it up in the top. To make sure we got it right. That one's missing just a little bit right here. Looking at it. Everything else is good. All right, now we're using a uh, water key to uh, leverage that top up there. I will, thanks. So we can get it up. I'll get I'll get my stuff. What Dresch is doing right now is we're putting in the sides down in the bottom, uh, the inner side. We'll have an inch there for insulation uh, to, uh, to then put our outer walls or put our shell around the whole thing. So right now what we're doing is we're checking the seams and any place we got gaps. We're filling with high temperature caulk to make sure that we fill in any seams and we don't have any air gaps before we put in the insulation and then the outer walls. Yeah, I got it. All right, well, you can see that now we've got our, we've got our shelves in, we've got the inner wall, we've got the second inner wall. What we've done here is we've left a one inch gap between uh, this one by tube steel and so what we'll be doing now is putting insulation in here and then putting our outer wall on. We got the bottom walls in down here. We're about to put a gas fire bar in there, which will allow us to turn on some gas, start the coals if we want, but also if we want to go to bed at night and we just want to keep it on low gas and run this cooker without uh, wood or charcoal, we'll be able to do that. Uh, so we still like putting the floor in. We're gonna put these sides on. We're gonna put the top on. We've already got our ceiling in. We need to cut out for our chimney holes down at the bottom. But other than that, we're looking really good. Uh, thing is really taking shape. We, then we're going to have our uh, our fronts getting made right now from our fabricator. So as soon as it comes in, first we'll take bar clamps and we'll bolt it to the front. We'll do a test cook on it. We'll see how it does. Make sure everything temps up the way that we want it to. You can see we don't have our water pan in here. We've just pulled it out for welding purposes it's going to go back in and then we ought to get this thing wrapped up so probably another week and we ought to have this thing wrapped up y'all stay in touch all right so what we got here is our uh we got our insulation that we've put in and then we just put on some we just held it in place with some of that blue painters tape which can come off or burn through real quick but that's uh 2000 degree insulation now we're putting the sides on out outside of that we'll clamp them on and then weld them on All right, so we just laid the, uh, we've got the side walls on, we've got them insulated, and we started to insulate the back and put the back wall on, and we just found it was going to be a lot easier to lay it down, so uh, Dudney and Patrick and Dresch have got this uh, 
have got the smoker laid down. We've got the insulate sheets we're using. Uh, what's the name of that insulation over there, Patrick? We're using Fiberfrax insulation. Uh, it's just kind of like a blanket insulation. This is one inch thick. And you can see that we've got it laid, it laid down inside the cavity, which is just a one by tube steel. And then the outer sheet will go on and that'll be the outside wall. And then we'll paint that. All right, we had to cut. To get the back in one sheet of steel, we used three sheets. Did one sheet, three pieces. I'm sorry. <laughs> one. <laughs> one sheet, we had to cut into three pieces. <laughs> Getting late. That's all right. Dresh has got to keep me straight. You can see we had that uh, back sheet laying on the ground in the dirt, so it's got some dirt on it. We got to clean that off. All right, we're here at Falcon Fabricators. We got the doors are ready for the smoker, so we're going to be taking a look at them for the first time. So come on over, let's take a look. Woo. Oh man! Check, make sure I didn't wet myself. I'm pretty excited about these doors. They look like a million bucks. We're about to take these back to the house. And we're going to put them on the front of the new smoker and then we're going to fire it up tonight. So we'll be back with another update. All right, here comes little Stevie Dresh. Going to take a look at the doors for the first time. First time, though. See what he thinks. Yeah. What do you think? Taking the, uh, we're taking the jack off the old trailer. Dress is taking the back off the old trailer. He's knocked out some of the supports. We pulled the firebox out of the old cooker and we're going to flip it off of here. And uh, another then we'll. Another demo tape. Another demo tape. That's, we're not going to demo this one like we did the last one. <laughs> we got to keep this one intact. All right, we're pulling the old smoker off the rig. Just got it off. It was pretty easy when you got enough guys. People show up, Where's you get things bitches? done. Uh, That's yeah. right. Can y'all push it? Just oh, wait, this is the side for people with gloves. Yeah. Straight in? Yeah. Going in the bed of the truck. Uh, Probably the some of those things are catching. Some of the screws are catching. Uh, all right. In order to get this uh, smoker uh, onto the rig, what we did is we laid it on its back to put the front doors on. And then in order to get it up onto the rig, we didn't finish it until about 2 o'clock the night before Memphis and May. We called a flatbed wrecker. We had him slide it off of the driveway up onto his watch rig, out, watch out, boys. back up to our trailer, and then load it onto the trailer with the help from about five or six guys. And uh, here we go. Here's Robbie cooking on it. This is the final. You're up. All right, we got Robbie Lunday pulling off the first batch of meat off a new smoker. It's on the rig. We cooked the first batch. Of, we're down at Memphis in May. We cooked the first batch last night. How'd it turn out, Robbie? Perfect. Perfect. This cooker is what they call the dream. And you thought they only called me the dream for being a dream husband to my wife. But, you know, they, they call this cooker the dream now. The dream, baby. The dream, all right.